is the Chrissy Swan Show. Happy Friday, Hollywood Jack. Welcome to it, Swanee. It's very exciting. Uh, I am taking my mum to Bali in a week. This is so exciting. It is exciting. And I've sort of got slated for this weekend, pack the bags for everybody. Can I just say I'm mainly excited because that means after our week off when you return, mm. I have hours of Patty Swan content to hear. Oh, it is going to be an intensive course in Lady Madness. Please ensure you write notes of everything she says and does. I will, and I'll send videos as well. Oh, even better. Um, I did say we leave very, very early uh, in the morning on the flight and I said to her, sent her a text message to go, just so, I don't you probably haven't checked the flights, but... We leave at 7 in the morning next week on a Saturday and you've got to stay at my place the night before. So Peg will be delighted. Anyway, Mum got back to me because, you know, I've been decluttering. She goes, yes, of course, I can stay at your place the night before, Bali. By the way, I am so sorry that I haven't moved those vases from the veranda. I don't like it when someone grabs something that you were trying to get rid of and then just leaves it there and then you haven't gotten rid of it at all. Now I have done that very same thing. I'm sorry to be such a bad mummy. <laughs> Wait, where are the vases? <laughs> you know, I had everything on the veranda for hard rubbish. She caught sight of them and she's like, oh, no, 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 I want those. They've now been there for three weeks and she's just remembered. I didn't even mention it. Every time I look at them, I think, that Come bugger, on, get them, that boy. bugger. Oh, look, Here she's, she is now. me now. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. And let's give away an amazing hamper for the weekend. It's in with spring here at Priceline Pharmacy. Time to start fresh and try something new. Chrissy's Get Into Spring. It's in with spring, all right. It's kicked off, hasn't it? My hay fever is in full force, Chrissy Swan. Oh, gosh, you've got to get to Priceline to get some antihistamines, my friend. Hello, Charlene. Oh, hello. Oh, oh you bring s- home the beauties. That's bring it home. It. Oh, my God. What are you hoping for that's going to be in your hamper? Uh, I am all over and obsessed with the new mascara called Firework. Oh, my God. The hot pink one. I'm using that. I've got it on today. I know. It's insane. I can't stop using it. My two daughters have it, uh, and I went to the races on the weekend, and I just adore what it. What brand is it, Charlene? Uh, oh, good question. Re- it's Ooh. one of the biggies, but I yeah, can't remember biggie. either. I just know uh, that it's firework. I know. Hang on. Do you want me to get it and look? Maybelline. I, I found it. I've just Googled it. Oh, there we go. Maybelline. Yes, it's Maybelline. It's bright pink. It's fabulous. All right, let's see if we can get you. I mean, look, I'm fairly sure that that'll be in there, but we'll see how we go. You oh, are... You are about to walk away with an amazing Priceline hamper full of spring beauty tips uh and this is how it's going to work i've got three items in front of me jack is going to guess how much they cost he is terribly out of touch so don't i had, a, I had a shocker yesterday charlene but i'm feeling better today An absolute Come shocker. On, jack. all Come right on. let's let's start he's got to get it to within the dollar okay. this is the clear skincare moisture and plumping eye gel i'm going to put it on now it's even got like a little doe foot applicator wow that's like really oh chic at the end that silver bit it feels so good it feels like one of those jade rollers on your yes. sad old lady puffy eyes. And in the morning when it's all cold, it's a really nice way to wake yourself up. It's so good. How much would you expect to pay for this, Jack? Oh, oh I God, that feels expensive. good. Uh, 50 bucks? It is $50. Yes! <gasps> and Jack! just quietly, oh. it's the best 50 bucks you'll ever spend. <laughs> all right. Now, we have these. Now, this is going to be hard for him, Charlene, because okay. he doesn't have any kids. He's never bought them. Priceline okay. brand, kids strips. Are they band aids? Yeah, if they get like, well, they're not band aid brand. They're kids strips. Oh, you know what I mean. If someone has a little whoopsie, you put them on, <laughs> and they've got little pictures of pandas and bears and things on them. How much? Five bucks. <sighs> Guess again. No one's spending five dollars for these. $2.50. Well done. Sorry, you got Charlene. It. $2.50. Right. I'm going to give you that, Charlene. No, we well, can't just give it away. That's yeah, unfair. Yeah, we can. That $5 is absurd. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are, you are ridiculous. You've got a $300 price line hand part <gasps> so far, Charlene. I mean, oh, my goodness. Who's going to Oh, my. Come on, Jack. Bring it home. Swanee, that's too cheap. They could be charging more for that. Price line needs to up that. dollars for 20 <laughs> Band-Aids. Is it 2024? All right. Let's move on to this one. I reckon you'll get this in the bag. <gasps> It is the MP Wonder Brow Lamination Gel. It gives you those amazing eyebrows that everyone's paying a fortune for. 
Okay. Can you just turn it to the side a tiny bit? Yep. <laughs> I reckon that's $18, Swanee. How did you know that? Because <laughs> I can see the price. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you have got yourself a $600 Priceline Pharmacy hat for Charlene. Oh. Wow, Jack, thank you. you. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. And I've just realised, I think the winners are supposed to get the stuff that we were talking about, but I've opened it all. Oh. That's okay. I'm sure some of it will be in the $600 uh, <laughs> pamper she's about to receive. I mean, you can have this clear skincare eye plumping eye gel. It's only been gently used by one person. <laughs> have a beautiful weekend, Charlene. The Chrissy Swan Show. Want to jump the prescription queue? Download the free Priceline Pharmacy app. With its handy pre-order function, simply order your script and they'll message you when your order's ready. Never wait for a script again at Priceline Pharmacy. The Chrissy Swan Show. Norman, welcome to the microphone. Our official mascot and unofficial work experience kid writer. Hello. Hello, how are we? Well, you and I and Jack have been friends for years now. Yes, I think it was the last year of Chrissy, Sam and Brownie we met. Yes. And, and right. obviously the whole security AVO thing isn't, <laughs> yeah, isn't not, working. Not you. No. And, and here you are again. Very easy to get into the building. You told us a great story the other day uh, in the office. We were talking about I was getting more firewood delivered. Even when there's a work experience kid in, Swanee <laughs> is talking about her obsession with lighting stuff on fire and getting wood. Yes. It was quite concerning. Yeah, it, well, it, get, get used to it. It is. And you shared a story of the last time that you, uh, your family, had some firewood delivered. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we used to have this wood man mm. and he'd come, normally we weren't home, mm. and we used to have this, at our old house, we used to have this great big fireplace and we'd light it up all the time. Mm. So he'd come and deliver our wood and stack it nice and neatly. Wow. Could, couldn't complain about his work. Mm. Um, but he'd always like leave rubbish or stuff around yeah. and then mum bring it up to him so he sort of cracked the shits with us a little bit yeah then one day we came home and the gate was left wide open and Mm -hmm. he'd been there Mm -hmm. and all our three dogs got out and we never saw them ever again (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry for laughing because it's a terribly sad story three dogs is a lot of dogs to lose but just the deadpan way that you say and we never saw them again. And we never saw them again. We can't get that out of our minds. We can love we, the Jack? idea of that phrase and someone telling us a story and finishing it with, and we never saw them again. And we never saw them again. 13, 20, 14, have you got a story that ends in, and we never saw them again? The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. And we never saw them again. Again, it's like the ultimate way to end any story. Isn't it, Swanee? And I don't have a story that ends like that. I'm sad. Either do I. But it's so shocking when somebody ends a story like that because you're just left going, what do you mean you never saw them again? It poses so many other questions that the storyteller cannot answer. The reason that we're (laughs) talking about this, of course, is Ryder, uh, our work experience guy, said, oh, yeah, a a person came to deliver firewood to our place, left the gate open, and three Dogs, our three pets, disappeared and we never, never saw, saw them, them again. again. 13, 24, 10, we want to hear your stories that end with that very phrase. Hi, Beck. how does yours end? Yeah, um, my best friend fell in love. She moved overseas and we never saw her again. <laughs> really? Wow. Yes, really. Well, that people, a lot of people do complain about that. You don't even have to move overseas. It's just like, oh, I haven't seen my friend in ages because she's got a new boyfriend. Is that what happened? Yeah, basically, yeah. She just fell in love. Never, never. We never caught up after that. She stopped returning our calls. We always saw her hanging out with her boyfriend and then they just moved overseas together and we've never heard from them since. That was two <laughs> years ago. That is unbelievable. If my best friend Christina did that to me, I don't think I'd recover. Like, no, that is so shocking. It is It is odd when your friend dumps you. It's a very weird feeling. And, Beck, do you still follow your ex-best friend on Instagram and see what she's doing or no? Yeah, because I still have a soft spot for her. Of but, course. yeah, she just doesn't yeah, she doesn't reply back. She's just too busy living her life. That is unbelievable. Priceline Pharmacy Voucher for you, Beck. Heidi, what is your story that ends in and we never saw them again? Well, I work in aged care. And um, there's a, a, star, a staff member that would forever play pranks on people, whether they'd put things in their food, things in their drinks, hide things, just little silly pranks. Oh, that, God, you know, that and, sounds gross. so tedious. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know. Anyway, <laughs> we had a, a specific staff meeting. We've all been there a long time. And we'd have a specific staff meeting this particular day. And um, there was no pranks played that day, which was quite strange. But um, the next day, she was supposed I worked that night. And the next day, she was supposed to come in to start her shift. Well, I never saw her again. And no one's ever saw her again. Do we think it's a prank? No. <laughs> A lot of people did at first. Oh, I bet. And um, that was, yeah, a lot of people thought, we all thought it was just a big prank. And then that was it? You never saw her again? Never saw her again. Wow. Priceline I Pharmacy know. voucher for you, Heidi. What a story. Oh, my God. All right. What's uh, Oh, it's a non. That means it's juicy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. <laughs> Please tell us your story that ends and we never saw them again. Well, uh, January last year, 2023, I headed off to a work conference located four hours from my home, kissed my husband goodbye, went to the conference. He phoned me the next morning to say how much he loved me and missed me. I arrived home that night. I have never seen him since. What? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Where where, where is he? (laughs) He's living with his new lover, girlfriend, wife. Oh my wife, god! So <laughs> whatever. You, you went to this conference, and he yep. took that as an opportunity. To, did he move all his stuff out as well, or no? He's never returned to the house. So whilst I was about to drive home from the conference, which was a four-hour drive, you can imagine when I tell you the story what that felt like. Oh my, God. Um, my son arrived home, he was age 20, and couldn't find his dad, he was in a bad mood, whatever, um, and a few things led to him going around to my friend's house and found my husband, his father, in bed <gasps> with my friend. <gasps> oh my God. Mm. <gasps> How long ago was this anon? This is January 2023. Oh, and you've never seen... I'm sorry, I can't get my head around it. You've never seen him since. You've never seen him. I have never, ever seen him since. He never returned home that night. The following day, he didn't go after our son, nothing. Um, The next day, um, well, I don't even know what happened. It was the longest night of my life. I was on the floor for about three weeks. We then, I got uh, legal letters, uh, legal proceedings. They were all done via our independent lawyers. Next thing, there's a divorce. Mediation was done via our lawyers, via teams. We weren't even in the same teams room together. I couldn't even see him on teams. What? And we're divorced. What a coward. Wow. Never came home. And no Yes. I'm gonna. Say, I'm not trying to rub salt in the wound, but we. I want to give you the best prize we've got, and I'm gonna give you a Caddy Carry On Business suitcase. Elevate the no. journey with Caddy Premium Australian designed luggage available now at Maya because you deserve that. I am in shock. Oh, thank you. Take it to the he's next. Never, take it to the he's next. He's never seen his daughter. He's never seen his kids. Take it to the next conference. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's do this first. Chrissy's clickbait. Remember when everyone was talking about Anna Delvey? Oh, yes, the fraudster from New York. The fraudster. And what was it, Inventing Anna or something, the show on Netflix? Netflix? It's fantastic. If you haven't watched that, you've got to watch it. I have watched it, but I must have forgotten. It was a few years ago. Anyway, she, um, you know, has trod the path that all good fraudsters um, tread And she is competing on Dancing with the Stars. Amazing. (laughs) Uh, In the US, of course. Yeah. um, Because she's out. She got out of prison this year. Yeah, but she's still under house arrest. So she's physically out of the slammer. Got it. But she's got to live in her house as if she is still in prison. 
And even though she's on this TV show, you can see in the publicity shots <laughs> on her right ankle is the ankle is bracelet. an ankle bracelet from prison. And look, she's kicking out the leg too. They don't want anyone to miss that. I'm obsessed with that because, Swanee, she's come out of prison and still just committed to being a celebrity. Like, she is not letting anything get Absolutely. in her way. Absolutely. And her sentence was four to 12 years. But she was so good in there. She was such a good girl. She was uh, released in February 20. One, but she's had to have that bracelet. That would annoy me. Absolutely. Well, it took me so long to learn how to sleep with my Fitbit on. Can you imagine <laughs> me with the ankle bracelet? I know. That would be an adjustment. I don't think you're ever going to go to prison, though. I think well, you're you sweet. Well, you never know. Hey, whilst we're on Netflix, I just yeah. want to say for people that are at home this weekend and want something to watch, that Nicole Kidman Netflix show Perfect Couple dropped yesterday. And have you looked at how many um, episodes is it? Am I going to be able to? It's a short series. No, no, you'll be able to watch that. Do you know what I'm watching at the moment? What? It's called Fake with Asha Keddy. And I know that I've mentioned it before, but it takes me a long time to get through a series. It is so good. It's got David Wenham yeah. and Asha Keddy. And I think it's on Paramount Plus or maybe... And it's yeah, called I think it's Fake. Fake. F-A-K-E. Okay, amazing. It is riveting. Good I really recommend wreck. it. Yeah, and you're correct. It's Paramount Plus. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and just to answer your question about the perfect couple, yes. in Nicole's show, it has six episodes. Six is utterly doable. We am can I do right? that. All right, let's go to Reddit for uh, something to in to to make us smile before the weekend. Here is a question: What is something you tried once but will most likely never do again? People have Ooh. done. People have answered this with all the usuals: bungee jump. I like this one. I attempted a DIY home renovation project. The only thing I renovated was my patience. I get that. I get that. What's something that you would never try again? I will never go into a gym. I I tried it once. I really did. And I bought the membership and everything. I will never do it again. I'll never buy a membership. I'll never go into a gym again. Ever, ever, ever. I absolutely... Every, like... Every fibre of my being rebels and repels. I get that. Gym. Do you remember when you had that like brawl with the Pilates teacher? Oh my god! But that was the last time I ever went, I and get why. You she don't was want to go back. never seen again. again. <laughs> what would you? What's something you tried once but would most likely never do again? Um, <laughs> there's only one thing that comes to mind when you put me on the spot like that. What is it? <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> is the Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, the weekend is so close. I can almost smell it. Or is that the pheromones of Joel Creasy, who is also lurking, ready to come up at 4pm? Also closer than normal for us today, Swanee. Yes, it's not 4pm, is it? We're getting an early mark today, thanks to Belong. Yes, you'll find out about that a little later in the show, but they'll be on at about 3.50. I'm about to blow your mind. I saw something on uh, TikTok or Insta, I think it was, where Richard Marks, don't worry, it's an old singer. He was a backup singer on a very famous song that you will know. And I've done the best, most satisfying deep dive on very famous singers in their own right who have also sung on famous songs by other people. You're going to love it. I feel like I'm standing in front of Molly Meldrum. Completely. (laughs) Next, though, Chrissy's Quizzy. If you'd like to strap on a limited edition Chrissy Swan Show bum bag for the weekend, jump on the line. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Let's give away a bum bag. Chrissy's Quizzy. Oh, yes, it's a Friday bum bag. That makes it very, very special. Hello, Ryan. Hello. What would you put in your bum bag if you were a lucky boy? <laughs> um, I am, um, oh, my keys. Yes, your keys I, and I, your phone. Yep, and my phone. Yes. What were you going to say, Ryan? Oh, no, I, 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 I use lots of keys for work, so it would be really handy. Good. All right, let's go to Adrian. Hello, Hello Adrian. Adrian. Hello. What would you put <laughs> in your bum bag? Adrian. I would put lip gloss for sure. Yes. And condoms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then, let's it's gonna go. It's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, I've lost my <laughs> mind on a Friday, guys. Okay, question. <laughs> your names are your buzzers. It's best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins the game and will walk away with the bump bag. Number one, which fast food chain has a Monopoly promotion running? Ryan. Oh, Ryan, I think. Do you? Just Ryan. Okay. Yes, Ryan. McDonald's. It is McDonald's. God, it's addictive, isn't it? You buy the fries just to 
pop to peel. The, yeah. Question number Absolutely. two: Name the television show that shows people watching television. Ryan. Hey, yes, Ryan. Ryan. Gogglebox. Yes, it is Gogglebox. Jeez, he's quick on the buzzer, he isn't is. he? Question number three for the win, Ryan, and to get on the board, Adrienne. Twelve years ago today, Pink released this song as the second single from her sixth album, The Truth About Love. What is it called? I don't mind this one. I'll tell you why you don't mind it after. Okay, great. All right. Try, try. Yes, Adrienne. Adrienne. Right. I'm going to go with Try. It is Try. Why do She's I like on the that scoreboard. one? You like that song because Pink writes all of her own music, but the one song over the last, I'm going to say, 15 years she hasn't written is Try. And who wrote it? Some Just some random gay gave it to her. I'm sure a very... <laughs> I thought you were going to say just a random gay. A very... <laughs> it probably was a random gay. That's a, my favourite type. A very accomplished songwriter, I'm sure, but she often talks about how she writes everything, but that she didn't write. That is funny that I've picked you that up. Like, oh, I like, I like that one. All right, question number four. In the legal profession, what does QC stand for? Adrian. Adrian. Queen's Council. It is. That's two apiece. Am I right, Jack? You're spot on, Swanee. Question number five is for the win, guys. Can you name the model that Bradley Cooper is dating? Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Gigi Hadid. It is Gigi Hadid. Ryan, look at you go. Well done, Ryan. Yes. You have won the bum bag. The shade from Adrian. Amazing. Well done, Ryan. (laughs) Can I give Adrian one (laughs) too? No, you've got to stop doing that. Yes, I'm going to give you oh, one. Fine. I'm going to give you one, oh, yes. Thank you. From next week, though, I'm being the bum bag, please. But I think everyone should have them. But They're worth about a dollar each. how life works. There's a point to having a winner because one person wins it. Yeah, but everybody has no, fun. No, no, <laughs> they don't. Hey, next one, you're doing a deep dive into some backing singers. You are going to love this. So many famous people have lent their vocals to songs that you know and have been listening to a thousand times and you never would guess. I think they call it BV. Correct, BV. BVs in the industry. Yeah. The Chrissy Swan Show. Hey, that's Sabrina Carpenter. If I said to you, hop on board the Sab Cab, would you know what I was talking about? I wouldn't, Swanee. Oh, you will soon in clickbait, but let's do this, shall we? You're listening to the Chrissy Swan Show on Nova. I am a very, like, dedicated music nerd. You're the modern day Molly Meldrum, but a woman. I'm really not. I don't know that much, (laughs) but what I do know, is he okay? I don't think so. I tell you what, every time I walk past a ladder, I do the sign of the cross. And I think of that man. So do I. Okay, pushing on. Okay. Back to it. I saw something on Instagram and it blew my mind because I know Richard Marks. He had a song called Hazard, which I was supposed to play a grab off for you because you won't have it. Um, Or like, should have known better. Should have known better. Do you know it? Now I'm a prisoner to this man. Richard Marks with an X. Should have known better. Got to fall in love with you. Do you know it? Yeah. Okay. Classic 80s guy and a, like a massive superstar. Okay. He sat down with that gross Bert Kreischer, put a shirt on, mate, <laughs> did the podcast and... <laughs> we get it, you got a dad bod. Yeah, and uh, we don't need to see it all the time. We trust you. <laughs> anyway, uh, he sa- sat down with him, did a um, podcast with Rick Springfield, dead. Anyway, he said that he did the backing vocals for Lionel Richie's All Night Long. All night long, all night, that's me. <laughs> all, all night long, all night, that's me. So of course I oh. had to I had to go straight to the song and see if I could hear him. That's Lionel. Wow. And Richard Marks. I just assumed Lionel had done the other bit too. So did I. I always assumed. I always assumed that the the main guy did the backing vocals. Jack, I wow. was up until all hours putting together this segment for you, which is going to blow your mind. Have you got more? I've got more. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you know the song by Elton John called Nikita. This was when he wasn't out of the closet yet and we all had to believe that he was married to that Russian woman, Renee. What Come a time. On. I mean, how naive were we? This makes me feel like I'm on holiday, this song. It was about, like, the Russian war or something. It was the Russian theme. Got it. Anyway, 
at the end, there's this soaring vocal, and I always thought it was Elton John. Listen. Gorgeous. It's not Elton. Do you know who that is? No, tell me right now. Play the next grab. It's my man, George George. Michael. Wow. Now listen to it back and you'll hear it. Oh, wow. That's sick, Swanny. I love that. Isn't it great? Okay, give me one more. Give me one more. one more. All right. Okay, you're going to love this. Brittany, piece of me. Sounds like this. Tune. What a song. Magical. You know, the great bit where it goes here. Do you want a piece of me? Yeah. Just keep listening. That's Britney. It is not Britney. That sounds like Britney. You're going to lose your mind when you find out who it is. Play the next secret button. He's a bloody Robin. It's your girl, Swedish superstar Robin. My queen. Listen to it back. The second one you can hear, it's her. God, I love this song so much. One so second. Why? Okay. This one, next one. Listen. Right. You can hear it. Now, Jack, I was up until all hours. I have a full dossier. This is going to be a <laughs> regular do. reveal. You're like Mel B on The Masked Singer with that thing. Except I actually wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's do this, though. Don't miss Australia's favourite renovation show, The Block, Sunday 7pm and Monday to Wednesday 7.30pm on 9 and 9 now. Chrissy's Clickbait. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the sap cap. What's that? The sap cap. Is that a wine? <laughs> no, it's not. It's the SAB, C-A-B, a uh, Sabrina Carpenter super fan has pimped their BMW, and that upsets me, the fact that it's such a fancy car. It's now covered in stickers, but, I mean, love knows no bounds. <laughs> really? I mean, the, the X5 is souped up. <laughs> really souped up. It's sabbed up. Um, and I think... What isn't in the fine print here is that this is a an Uber. Did you notice when you were in America ah. that the Ubers have really got a lot of personality? It's yeah. like, you know, they're little they're small businesses there. <laughs> yeah, they put in effort. <laughs> yeah, and I reckon this is what this guy's done. This car has its own TikTok account. What? I know. It's crazy. I kind of love the commitment. I've got to say, like, sometimes our ride share cars now, I'm like, guys. Where are the mints? Where's my water? Oh, yeah, no, that's gone, hasn't it? That's all out the window. So if I was to get in a sab cab on a Saturday night, I'd be pretty thrilled. And you've got to to read the stickers on the back. It says, Jesus was a carpenter. (laughs) 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 And honk if you love espresso. You've been getting a lot of honks. A lot. And I've got to say this weekend, if you haven't listened to the song Bed Chem on Sabrina's new album, you are missing out. I think it's her best song yet. It is such a great album. It's really good, short and sweet. And also, here's a community service announcement. It's really hard to find stuff that you can stand to listen to that your kids also like. Yeah, of course. But like when the when my two little ones are, well, they're not little, they're enormous now, but when I'm out there doing that tedious thing where you've got to bloody score all their, um, you know, hoops that they're yeah. shooting. My you God. need some tunes playing. Kill me now. I, I listen to that and then it's bearable. Yeah, good. All right, let's move on to this. The Calm app. It is a wonderful app. Swanee, you know I only sleep every night to the Calm app. I had no idea. Have I not told you this? No. Every night, that's the only way I get to sleep. Like this is, hang on, let me get it for you right now. What is that a noise? I c- couldn't sleep with noises. All night it plays. If I go to a hotel or if I'm at a mate's house, I play this. This is what I go to sleep to. It's green noise with river. They're back. 
<laughs> it sounds like the shorts from Poltergeist. Anyway, it is a great thing and it does meditation and all that yeah. stuff as well. But I found something on the internet. Actually, I think my clear friend Claire Bowditch sent it to me because her and I are very, very similar in our brains. Yeah. If you want to know what goes on in my mind when I try and meditate, all that self-care stuff, listen to an app, blah, 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 this is what happens in my mind. Sleep. Sleep right now. If you don't fall asleep by the end of this sentence, you should literally panic because (laughs) sleep is crucial and you're not getting it. Panic (laughs) because you're failing to fall asleep. Added to a long list of failures. Your dad was right about you. Sleep is how your cells repair themselves and cells are the building blocks of life. If you don't sleep, your cells will be ran through as f- and your body will be like a pointillist painting done by George Surratt if he had a dangerous addiction to methamphetamine. <laughs> this, is, this is exactly the stuff that goes through my head. I Shout can't out be trusted. to Mr. Zach Woods who created that. That's amazing. So funny. <laughs> now, Swanee, we're handing over to Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel a little earlier today thanks to our mates at Belong Mobile. I love this. When I found out that Belong Mobile reckon everyone deserves a big day off, I was all for it. And obviously we can't have a whole day off here on the Chrissy Swan Show. Neither can Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. But I'm relishing in the fact that I get to finish up a little bit early to do all the amazing things that I need to do, like buy fire lighters. <laughs> no, you've got enough. Enough with the fire stuff. I'll tell you what, I might sit in my garage for 15 minutes longer than I normally do. <laughs> Thank you, Belong. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel are joining you earlier just after this. Just like Belong Mobile, helping you get more of the good stuff, search Belong Mobile for more. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.